Principles of Electricity Transmission. Not the best title for an IC presentation. So I'm going to scrap it and call it Civil Engineers Powering the Nation. Boiling kettles, mobile phones, light bulbs and Facebook gossip. All impossible without what comes out of our plug socket. But how does it get there? And how is it so that civil engineers are responsible <laughs> for powering the home? In pre-war Britain, there was little supply to meet all the needs of the people who needed a new robust electrical feed. Fast forward to 1926, the Electrical Supply Act, and to stage right the national grid to put the UK on the map. So to get, pa so to get power out to industry and people of the nation, we first step up voltages in a 400 kV substation. Then energy is directed through miles of steel pylons and cables, where high voltages reduce energy losses to keep our supply stable. Energy is ramped down and down to be used in industry, and then finally enters our homes just in time for tea. From concrete frames, buns, dump tanks, and steel pylons, there's no doubting civil engineers' roles in keeping the lights on. From the north to the south, the grid has provided growth, sustenance, and hope for our little island. But this gargantuan network is no longer new, with replacements, updates, and maintenance due. That's where the invisible hero, the civil engineer, steps in to save the country and keep it running in fifth gear. New transformers and breakers requiring foundation and structure. Why don't we reuse the existing? No need for new build manufacture. The civil engineer strides in to check the structure's condition, checking for carbonation, cracking, and chloride ingression. So the structure, it looks okay, but let's check out the loads. Thank God it works at the British standards and Euro codes. <laughs> So here we have an example of reuse, recycle and reduce, lowering CO2 emissions and construction materials to produce. But reuse isn't enough. The network must grow. With new power stations coming online, the power must flow. So therefore we need new substations, new pylons and new cables. The civil engineer bring, again brings their knowledge to the table. It's not just ageing assets that the grid is threatened by climate change and extreme weather threaten our supply. With floods all too common and rain day after day, new flood barriers and buns will help keep the water at bay. So these are the tasks of a civil engineer, not your everyday job or a boring career. Let's encourage the youth and get them involved. More problems will arise that need to be solved. So when you're next watching the telly or buying train tickets at the station, Remember who's responsible for all this energy. They were civil engineers powering the nation. Good dog calls you up. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I thought, oh, I've got three minutes off now. I'm going to be <laughs> that was great work. I have to be honest, you had me in the thrall of your. Thanks very much, yeah. And the whistle was just part of it. We really didn't want to play the whistle. It's nice, you were on the off just where I needed to be. Yeah, I think a little bit more time you performed, Eric, you can have that as a nice little sort of Friday night piece. Little side, yeah, good idea, yeah. side earner. Um, so the judges' questions must all rhyme. <laughs> so who's going to go first? I'll go first, but I won't get a rhyme. <laughs> Um, well, I think one of the th things that we have to look out for is with the energy markets changing is smart grid. And obviously, we'll, several engineers will have a part to play in that with what shape that will look like and how it's going to change from, say, a nationalised, centralised grid to something which is, has to be a bit more reactive in how we meet supply around the country. Um, so yeah, it will be exciting anyway because there'll be so much opportunity for us to get involved. Do you think energy storage is going to be important in the future? 
Um, if we can get it to work, then, then yeah. Um, Again, I think it depends with, with it all, everything that is now, well, potentially coming online. Um, and if it's something that we can actually get to work, then yeah, it's a great opportunity. But yeah, getting it to work is the main thing. Thank you very much. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Kevin. Round of applause for Kevin and his <laughs> super superhero.